I'm working with for TMF, one of our prep school classes. And we're going to be looking at different colours of flames. And we might come up with some ideas for what these ideas are used for in the real world, maybe for some fun things. And then the next time we meet, we're going to be looking at which certain chemicals make certain colours. So we're going to try and relate those ideas together. I'm going to turn the lights out, which will make things a bit easier. I have a Bunsen burner going here with a blue flame, which we'll see very shortly, which is the hottest type of flame that a Bunsen burner can have. And I'm going to put some different chemicals in it. Now, can everyone see the smiley face on the board? Yeah. Yes. When I tell you to, you have to look at the smiley face, please, not at the experiment. Okay, there's one time where I need you to look at the smiley face and not at the experiment, please. Can everyone do that? Everyone look yeah. at the smiley yeah. face now? Awesome. Everyone look back here. Cool. So I'll tell you when to look at the smiley face. I can't see the fire attack. Changes, doesn't it? Okay. My first chemical that I'm going to play with, as it were, that I'm going to show you, is called zinc. And it's zinc is a type of metal, but it can be broken down into a very fine powder. Now have a look at the type of blue that we've got there and see if anything changes when I do this. Okay, some sparks. And it's a light blue. Good. Can you see the light blue at the tip? And yes, it looks a bit more purple on the edge here, doesn't it? Great. Okay, so let's do it one more time for anyone who missed it. Zinc. So it sparks and gives us a light blue or pale blue colour. Awesome. Okay, that's chemical number one. We'll write something about that later. Chemical number two is called magnesium. Now this is a piece of metal, just like a little bit of ribbon. Okay. This one is where we have to look at the smiley face. So all eyes on the smiley face, please. Now you're going to be tempted to look back at this. If you do, remember to look back at the smiley face straight away. Okay, it's really easy to be distracted by what's about to happen. You're going to use the side vision, what's called your peripheral vision, to see what's going to happen. Yes? Or can I tell you afterwards? Okay, because I don't want to spoil what happens. So I just need to trust you all to look at the smiley face now, please. And I'm going to look at the clock over there when I get this started. So but you need to be facing forwards, but towards the smiley face. And here we go. Can everyone see it in their peripheral vision? Yes, it was white. It was white, and it was really, really bright. Like, what's what's also really, really bright that we're not allowed to look at? Light bulbs. The stars. The stars, we're allowed to look at the stars, though. A really strong torch. A really strong torch, we shouldn't look straight at those. Someone did say it, but I didn't see a hand up. The sun? The sun. So it's not as bright as the sun, of course, but if we look at it for too long, it hurts our eyes like the yeah. sun does. Okay, my next chemical for you, so that was magnesium. And by the way, it left a little bit of white ash looking stuff down there. My, my next chemical for you is iron powder. Now, iron sounds like it should be really boring, doesn't it? Because lots of things are made of iron. It's a pretty boring chemical, really. So this one here, I'm going to ask... This gives you a hint that it's not that boring. I'm going to ask you two just to move a little bit further away, please. Yeah, I can't exactly see. Then you're allowed to stand if you can't see. Okay. But it also is being videoed so you can see it better. Yep, that's great, guys. If you just, maybe if you kneel down, you should be able to see it really well. Awesome. So this one is iron filings. Very fine iron powder. And here we go. This might remind you of something. Brighton fireworks. 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 And sparklers. So, uh, particularly the sparklers, because what colour flame is it? Orange. Orange. Well done. Now, this is the colour, this is often the colour that's given off by our sun as well, because it makes some iron. 
So as part of its reactions. So we often get a bit of a yellowy or orangey tinge to the sun. Okay, so what do we think? We got three different colours there. What were our three different colours? Um, our first one was orange and blue, then it was turquoise and violet, and then it was um, really white, and then it was orange sparkles. Love it. Great. So a real variety in colours. And a lot of you came out with some ideas for how we might use this in something that's a bit of fun. That's why I used the word play earlier. What's something fun that we use different coloured flames for? Um, fireworks. Fireworks. Cool. But that's only three or four colours. That's not many colours. When I see fireworks, I see all sorts of other colours. What other colours do you see? Orange. Orange. Orange blue. and blue. Blue and red. Red and green. Green. Turquoise. Turquoise, which is sort of a grainy, bluey colour. Purple. 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 Sometimes violet with a mix of aqua. Awesome, so a whole range of colours. Sorry if I didn't go to you, because we'll just move on. So there must be other ways to make other colours, and that's what your experiment is going to be about. And your experiment's written up on the board around the smiley face. What we're going to do is we're going to get one of these wires with a wooden handle. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but that's okay. And we're going to heat it to start with. That's just to make sure there's nothing left on it. Okay? Can we burn ourselves? Not if you hold the wood. If you hold the metal, you will. So we must hold the wood. Then what we're going to do is we're going to carefully, making sure we only put it in the jar, not next to it, because that will hurt. We're going to collect some of the chemical at each lab station. And we're going to, I'll just drop that, see? And we're going to put that chemical in the flame and see what colour it gives us. Orange. That's an even more awesome orange, isn't it? Yeah. They call that colour amber, actually. It's the colour they used to use for the middle light bulb in traffic lights. Okay. Then, after your set's glowing, after you finish with scooping it in and seeing the colour that it goes, two taps. One, two, on the wooden board underneath. And then you're ready for someone else to have their turn with it. Okay? I'm going to show you how careful you have to be with your observations. The next one is a really, really faint colour. It's very hard to see. So, what do I do first? What do I do with the wire first? Oh, I've already done the tapping, but well Heat done. It. Heat, it. Heat it. Heat it. And let's say a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we're going to collect a little bit of that chemical. And this one's actually quite hard to get because it's quite a fine chemical. Of course, for a demo, it's not going to work, is it? And this is a very hard colour to see. Oh, that red, didn't red. That went red. That one there went red. That actually was due to something else. That one's not meant to go red. Oopsie. There is a red one out there, so there must have been what we call contamination on that one. Yeah, that's what it's meant to be. What you just said is what it was meant to be. But we observed red, didn't we? Yeah. So we'd write red down because that's our observation. And then we'd ask someone else why we got the wrong answer. And the answer is that we got the right answer. It just wasn't what we expected. Okay, here we go. Let's try again. Ah, it's not behaving for me. It's always the way when you're doing a demonstration, isn't it? Let's see if we can do it with this. Get that sound to work. Can you see sort of a purpley, pinky colour? Yeah, yeah. Right, that's correct. So what's a, what's the word we use for pur purpley, pinky? Magenta. Magenta? Yeah, it's probably a little bit more pink than magenta. Like pink? It's like a plant, like a flower that starts with L. What is it? Usually. Lavender. Lavender, I like lavender, that's a good one. Or lilac is the other one that we sometimes call that colour. Okay, but it's a type of purple or a type of pink. So, your experiment is going to have two jars and two wires at each lab station. The chemicals are the same. So, the idea is that more than one person can have a go at each. Okay, so you do each chemical at least twice before you move on. After you've worked out what colour your chemical is, so you've written the colour down on your map, you then move clockwise, which is that way. Okay, you move clockwise to the next station. There should, with the groups we've got here, be one spare lab station. So if 
the station you were about to go to is still being used, then leapfrog them to the next one. Okay. Right, so that's what we're doing today, looking at the colours of flames.